And hello YouTube and welcome back to another episode of The Zone, TV Movie Entertainment. With me, your host Jonathan, BB-8 of course. And once again, bringing you my thoughts and review for last night's episode of Supergirl, Season 6, Episode 2. Well, technically this is actually Season 6, Episode 1. If you remember, last week's premiere episode was actually supposed to be Season 5 finale. But things happened, so they couldn't, so this is technically Episode 2 in in order so let's talk about it and spoilers if you haven't caught up so last week's episode um lex Luthor decides he's gonna try to destroy supergirl well in typical fashion certain things happen where supergirl's team shows up helps stop not only leviathan and of, well, of course lex Luthor as well she gets herself trapped in the phantom zone now the phantom zone is a is a pocket dimension kind of you know prison where the Kryptonians would sentence criminals throughout the galaxies and lock them up in there and throw away the key, the, the space key. And um, that is where Kara is. So now the team races to the clock to try to get her out of there. So you have Brainy trying to figure out things. You have uh, Nina trying to, you know, work on her powers to try to help out. Because once they go in there, there's going to be some phantoms who want to get out. Now, phantoms could be any kind of criminal, you know, from aliens to even General Zod. There's a possibility that General Zod could be in there. He's been trapped in the phantom zone before, so it's a possibility, you know. But, um, yeah, you know, Martian Manhunter, um, you know, even Alex is at the point where she's, she's like, trying to figure out a way to help her sister out. But, you know, they end up meeting this, I guess, alien vampire Apparently, there's an alien vampire out there, so they capture him. Not really capture him, but really stop him because he was like trying to rob a blood bank, I guess, to feed himself. So um, they ask, they find out that he has trying to get in there before to try to save his husband. So you know, so they're like, okay, you try to get in there. You were close. Maybe you can help us get in there so we can try to get Car out of there. And that's basically the gist of the episode. But we also get to see Nina uh, basically be more of a reporter type, uh, you know, have a reporting type moment where she has to go, um, I guess, cover the Lex Luthor trial. <laughs> and literally Lex Luthor is in trial. He ends up representing himself. And then, of course, you have Miss Tessmacher try to, like, you know, testify against him, which is, like, surprising that she would do that because... You know, Lex and Tess and Tess are pretty much like kind of like Joker and Harley, where you know she loves him, but he's always abusing her, not physically but emotionally. So you know, there it was a shock to see that she was testifying against him and literally threw the key, you know, threw the rock at him because she's like, oh yeah, he's guilty. He made me do this, this and that. I remember all the crime things that she did. She did because of him, and she was in love with him. And she's, I think, secretly she still is in love with him, but you know they, they don't really say that. But from just watching the episode, she's terrified of him because she knows he can kill her if he if he really wanted to, or have her killed. You know, even though he doesn't have to pull the trigger himself, Lex Luthor is a very dangerous man. And of course, even Lena decides to go and testify as well. And then you have Lex Luthor just turn everything. That, you know, he's been accused of against uh, Lena. So now Lena looks like she's going to be in big trouble with the with the courts and stuff. So, <laughs> I'm telling you, Lex Luthor is crazy, man. That was some good stuff. And also, he he ends up getting uh, cleared of all charges. So, you know, that's how Lex Luthor works. He just gets away with everything. And then, of course, you have, um, like I said, the team literally trying to struggle to get into finding Kara, and then we get to go see Kara in the Phantom Zone, and she runs into a, a, a familiar face, and that's her father, uh, Zorel, which is like, okay, Zorel's in this, the brother of Jorel, so that's, you know, Superman's uncle, if you will, <laughs> so, um, yeah, why is he in there? He, he had no choice to go in there when the, you know, Argus was about, you know, Krypton was about to be destroyed, and Kara left to go save kal and he had no choice. He thought his wife and, you know, his wife was gone. 
but she's in Argo and another, you know, galaxy somewhere. So um, he's trapped in there as well. So, and he's telling Kara, hey, listen, as long as we keep to ourselves, the phantoms won't bother us. They, if they hear that we're here and causing trouble, they're going to come after us. So he's trying to convince Kara to like, not try to like, oh, don't try to plan your escape now because we're going to be in here in a while. He doesn't know that her friends and the outside are trying to get in to try to get Kara back. So, but, um, yeah, very simple episode. But, um, I do wonder though, if that really is her father or that's just maybe a phantom pretending to be her father. Curious, very curious. And it looks like we're gonna get um, kind of like what Smallville did a couple, you know, in season five, where Clark goes into the for uh, Phantom Zone. He gets trapped there. Uh, Supergirl saves him when she was trapped there herself, and then they escape. And then a couple of Phantoms escape as well, and then they end up have to um, pretty much stop them. Some of them end up being stronger than others, and then some of them end up being General Zod, and then going into Lex Luthor's body. That's a possibility. They could be going this route. Maybe Zod is in the Phantom Zone. He's going to escape secretly and then eventually fuse himself with Lex. I mean, it's a possibility. Maybe Brainiac's in it. Maybe Brainiac's in there. You never, you never know. I mean, every kind of cool to see Brainiac fuse with Lex, like how he does in the comics, but um, and in the cartoon as well. But um, only time will tell. Only time will tell. But we just have to wait and see what happens. So, leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys thought about the episode. Stay tuned for more. And thank you very much. And have a good day.